I'm so tapped up, and there's a no update for Abyssrium, like always. There's a slow rollout, so I can't believe they still do that. It's so fun and enjoyable for over two years to have to explain at the start of every single video that you might not see what I see, and it might not be that way for a week, and I can't do anything to help you about that with. Anyway, there's an update. You might see it in a week. Um, it adds this new tab to the tropical event, so half of it is part of the tropical event and half of it isn't. So that's always fun to explain. Um, there's five new fusion fish, those are permanent. And then there's five new, not really quite fusion fish that are in this new hiding fish, which as a name is really too close to hidden fish. But basically what you do, it's just a gashapon. Um, you create life with either event currency or fusion materials. Um, I recommend just using whichever one you have relatively more of. I have a lot more fusion materials than I have this thing. Every um, every few times you use it, it increases the price. Um, it doesn't matter which one you use, like you can't use a bunch of cheap materials and then like use a bunch of cheap, you know, event currency. The, the Both prices go up. So personally I recommend using fusion materials unless you're new to the game and have very little or whatever. That's right, Barker. That's right! Because personally I have many, many, many more of these. And you also get little rewards every six of these that you create, you get either some gems or you get a free luck shell pull, so nothing big there. You just want to get um, five... <laughs> I've had terrible luck with this, but that's the point of a Gashapon, isn't it? Uh, at least it gives you... A, at least it gives you a vitality bonus, which is nice. Unlike every event ever, um, I just keep getting these sheep nudie boys, though. Sheep nudie branch. They're cute, but like... Uh, there's... Uh, let, me, let me show you the fish here real quick. That's right. Um, so there's weedy scorpion fish, there's sheep nudibranch. branch, these ones are common, you'll get these a lot. There's the red-lipped batfish and the peacock shrimp, these are fairly rare. And then there's the flying fish, which seems to be the rarest one. Um, you can expect maybe 50 to 60 pulls is what it has taken people um, from a very, very rough survey on, on Reddit. We're talking a sample size of less than 10. But um, I would say expect 60 or so. And once you get one of each, you get the gold sunfish. Um, and you just get one gold sunfish and it's basically free. Um, the other up additions in this update, um, for one thing, if you use um, a hacked APK, you might get banned. Um, I don't know why they announced that, like it was a user side feature, but that's... They said add banned user feature, and I thought you could like block people on Facebook, but that's weird. Because it, they're on Facebook, so you could just block them from your real Facebook. But no, it means that if you use a hacked APK, they'll uh, they'll ban your booty. But uh, there's five new fish all the way down here at the bottom. There's this boy, copper band butterfly fish. These are not hidden. You just have to have two of whatever was required. Good to see the new sea slugs, at least though. This one's always a classic. The good old blue purple boy, blue purple whatever. Yellow frog fish. About time we had a frog fish in like the regular game. And there's African Pompano, who, very fancy boy. It's very expensive though, two gold per eel, so it'll, it'll take you a while to get to that if you haven't been playing for a while. Um, so again, those are just in the regular fusion tab. Those are not part of the event, you don't have to rush to create these. Uh, goodness, this list is getting real long. They they need to add like categories or something to like kind of sort this out, because there's like over 100 fish in this list now. But yeah, these are all simple enough to make. They seem to have like a, a thing where they'll make like one that needs seaweed, a couple that just need urchins, one crabs, one uh, shrimps. So there's that. And finally, since this is a oddly complicated update, um, the Abyssal Kraken was added back in here. You need to create 13 species of pirate event fish, which means, uh, and you need to actually create them. Um, I think somebody had issues on my guide, and I think you have to, you gotta make all of them, you can't just unlock them, and it doesn't look like you need to make them fresh. I don't know what problem they were having, but it's Abyssrium, so I wouldn't be surprised if there's weird issues. Um, but you can make only one, but if you made one last year, you can make another one. Actually, I don't, actually, maybe they just removed the cap. I'm not sure on that, because I already have one, and I can make it. Um, I don't know. I'm not gonna buy it again. <laughs> I'm not going to complete this event either, so I have <laughs> I have no idea on that regards, unfortunately. But um, yeah. Also, I got to say this the, the change to the crab really sucks. If you're just going to make it, watch ads. Why do I have to charge it with the the things? Because this takes a while. And for one event, they changed it down to ten, 
you had to tap 10 times to do it, and that was a lot nicer, I found, because 20 taps, um, especially if you have a bunch of fish that fly outside the periphery of the thing, that sucks, and then I gotta tap it with ads the first time, but then I gotta do the ads, and it's, I don't I don't appreciate the changes at all in that regard, and I do not play <laughs> events anymore. So, as you can see, I have literally one fish from <laughs> this event. Um, this thing has been a little bit more fun. This thing, well, not really, <laughs> because I only get the sheep neuter branches, and I only get the common fish. But uh, yeah, that's the new update. Um, like I said, you should have it within a few days of this video. It's the earliest release came out. I, I've been getting them early lately, surprisingly, but. Um, Usually takes maybe a week from the first people who start getting it. As you can see, sheep neuter branches are by far the most common option. So this is why I don't stream this game anymore. It'd just be me creating sheep neuter branches and watching ads. And it's not very fun to watch a stream where somebody's just watching ads. What is that? Why is there a boat? Guys, what's that boat? There was a boat. Is that just part of the... Is that part of the theme? I haven't <laughs> I haven't been using it. That's probably just part of the theme. But there was a boat. I don't think boats are supposed to go underwater. I think they're supposed to do literally the opposite of that, but I could be wrong. Um, so yeah, that is the changes in Abyssrium. Oops. That's another menu. There's so... I... They moved the stupid watch video thing into this tab, and they removed... The game used to hide these uh, watch video things if you clicked on a tab and then left away, because it's like, oh, you don't want to watch the ad. Okay, that's cool. But now the ad thing is permanent, and so is the new thing. So, like, all of my tabs permanently have multiple notifications. And it's like, oh, this used to be a fun, chill little game, and I was marketed all to hell. So that's a shame. <laughs> anyway. I hope that helps. You should get that update soon. And the event probably ends at the end of the month. They, they're, all, they're pretty much on a monthly schedule now, finally. Oh, there's the little Mr. Boatman. What's what's your deal? I think he does a, like a loop around when the when the hermit crab is doing his thing. Yeah, it must. Tap tap here. If you like the video, make sure to subscribe and leave a like if you want. I read every comment posted, so don't embarrass yourself. Social media links in the description, including my Patreon and any relevant links to the game. <laughs>